Okay, like always, starting out with the drawing first. Putting in a quick rough draft with charcoal. And I'll go back over it with ink before I paint it. And uh, notice we just got the outside shape. We found where the brow was, the nose, the mouth, but most importantly, the angle of the face. Now we tone the canvas. And because this has really stark lighting, this reference, I went ahead and just covered up that whole shadowed side of the face in a shape. Again, I'm squinting and looking at my reference. I'm squinting and then looking at my subject. And I'm just trying to match him like that. I'm not really looking at a nose. I'm not looking at lips. I'm not looking at a chin. I'm trying to instead ignore all of that and just see abstract shapes. And once I did that and I was happy, I toned it one more time. And now I'm coming over it with white paint. This is a really classical technique. They call this a grisaille, which is just a fancier way of saying the painting with gray. Gris is supposed to be gray, grisaille. And look, with various, varying degrees of thickness, I build up the lights and find my drawing. Now, this is really easy to do because we sketched out the proportions in the beginning and we inked in those nice shadow shapes. So all of this comes with more ease once those beginning stages are done correctly. And notice how the, I keep coming over and over and over again with thicker paint. And um, we always start off at the lightest places and gradually work towards the darks. Knowing the skull really helps because the skull determines the planes of the face. And once you have a better understanding of the skull, you can kind of predict where the lights are going to be. Now I toned it again with brown really thinly to give it some tone. And I'm just repeating the steps again, except this time my white has a little bit more brown in it. See, same thing again. And now what this does is over, you know, after each pass, and sometimes there's 10 passes, sometimes there are only five, sometimes there's 30, 40 passes. Titian said that 40 passes is sometimes still not enough. You'll find that if you go really close to it, there's a topography to the picture. And wherever uh, the color is the lightest, the paint is also the thickest. While the shadows and the darks remain consistently dark. I mean, uh, the, the shadows are always going to be thin. Wherever it's dark, it's going to be thin. See, now we toned it again. And I will come back with the light color, starting from the lightest lights. See, and now the brush got a little bit smaller, but it's by no means a small brush still. It's a round bristly brush and I like it because you can sort of pick up paint and put it down really nicely. Okay, this is the, this is the author of uh, the book Siddhartha. That's his most popular book. And, you know, authors that said they have really loud minds. They're generally more quiet, but they have really loud minds. And they say the eyes are a window into the mind. And I think this, he has really loud eyes right now. You can tell that there's a lot happening inside his brain. And uh, he's got a really piercing look. And uh, this is the finished picture. I hope you guys like it. Thank you for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.